they they started when we started it was uh, it seemed as if it was going to be very difficult for all of us to uh, move through the new challenges that were set forth for you uh, when we were transitioning from scratch and then trying attempting to improve on our scratch coding skills and also attempt to get more skills, especially in uh, web design, uh, web development. We, it's not, it's so uncommon and it's so rare for children at your age uh, to learn such skills. And that's the, that's what has been keeping uh, our continent behind. But uh, for most of you have endeavored to go through all the modules that we sent you and all, all of you who handed in your assignments, those who learned in what matters most is those who acquired a new skill and you can freely express it and you can freely develop some, something out of what you learned. You're not expected to be a guru or to be an expert by now, but at least if you picked even if it's one concept that can make you different from other kids who are in your schools, other kids that you associate with at home, at school, at church, uh, it really puts you ahead. And this world, we are in this world uh, to compete with each other. And to be successful, you have to always strive hard to outcompete your fellows, be it your sister, be it your brother. And the competition is, uh, it, it's, it's not the rough competition, but it's a health competition in that you try if it is uh, knowing about uh, what is happening in the country, you watch news. And when you're asked about uh, something which is happening maybe in a particular region, you are the first person who knows what is happening in the New York, the first person who, who knows which phone is, uh, is, is trending right now, the first person who knows which technology is trending right now. So that's uh, that's what keeps us ahead of others. And now in this uh, particular uh, program, we are enabling you to have uh, skills. Uh, now, for example, those who made it to the Ignite phase, at least uh, you should be able to prove that you're different from those who are still at the explorer stage of the program. So when we give you exposure to these uh, programs, or maybe when we try to, we have tried our best to make them uh, very simple, uh, to make these concepts, uh, 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 some of them, uh, people who are even older than you cannot attempt them, but uh, we had to do our best. The talent team does its best to make sure that they, uh, they make the programs simple and understandable by you. And uh, we ensure that, <laughs> By the end of each program, uh, someone has something they can deliver. And we always see that all of you have been part of uh, the coding, uh, the competitions, young innovator of uh, the math competitions. And you always see at least the presentations that you see, you can bear me witness that you've never seen them. Uh, you see kids who have never presented like that, maybe. Uh, because they had fear, because they didn't have the that courage, they didn't have someone to push them to do that. And what we do is we push you, we don't push you, but we encourage you to think creatively. We encourage you that this cannot, anything that the adults can do, you can do. And you, you saw uh, some of your friends uh, were nominated among the among the innovators uh, on 10th November. So it's, a, it's upon your commitment. And when you put in uh, your effort, you can also get there where you thought that uh, you would not get there. And we saw most of you building amazing, amazing games. I, I, I like the first, uh, the first stages of this program in the Explorer, people were building things that me personally, I could not build. And we also saw that when we started website development, when you go and ask your brothers and sisters who are above you, who have finished university, or you can ask their friends, many of them don't know even how to build uh, 
uh, this well. But now I was happy when I saw most of you freely interacting with the HTML, freely interacting with PyCharm, interacting with Notepad. Some of them don't even know that the computers have Notepads. So you should be proud of yourself that you your efforts have not been wasted. Your, your sleepless nights doing those modules have not been wasted and they are going to impact. And when you keep pushing, I personally, I, I didn't get the chance to start uh, what you're doing when I, was still, uh, when I was still young because I didn't have the, uh, the, those people who could uh, uh, dele delegate their time, spare their time to come and maybe uh, inspire me. But then you have those people. So you have nothing to, uh, you, have, you have no regrets. And because it's now upon you to wake up, what we do at the foundation, we just give you like 1%, just a push. It just give you a push, then the rest of it is uh, supposed to be done by you. We expect you to work on what, build on what we've uh, given you, and then you keep pushing until the next level, until we see you out there shining. And that's what we are going to do even in the, in the launch stage. Now, those who make it to the launch stage, you will be at the same level with the, most of our, uh, you will have access to, you will be joining our groups even, uh, for all groups, you'll be at uh, with our innovators who are at campus, who are at uh, technical institutions. Second, in that you learn, you get inspired from them. You you will have access to our labs at uh, Macquarie University and see some of the innovations that uh, uh, your elders are building. And also, you can freely ask them to give you support and also to guide you on whatever you're building. So, this is uh, and for those who will not make it today launch of course the support we don't want to end uh, our relationship with you we shall have more programs for you and those who who can also we have another ignite stage a program which is coming next month on starting on 12th uh, for the other fellows who are in other cohorts and uh, every stage now we have you have a, a different curriculum which is uh, going to be exposed to the next ignite we keep on we are building this uh uh, these modules and we keep on testing them and improving them until the end of this year. So by the end of this year, we shall now be officially launching a curriculum which, which has been tested and which we believe that can produce quality innovators out there. Now, today we come together to just reflect on what we've learned so far. And we also want to hear from you, your feedback. We want to always uh, find ways of improving programs. And uh, the best way we can enable you to continue in this program, we realize that uh, much as most of you weren't able to complete your assignments, <laughs> the problem might be may, maybe the assignments were not clear. Maybe uh, they were too difficult for you. Maybe they were. Too easy. Maybe there are too many. So the, that's the kind of uh, feedback that we want to get from you. And uh, we find ways of uh, improving on that. And also we want to learn, and today we want to learn how to, uh, some of the concepts that we said we are going to learn them, but we didn't learn them. So in the, without wasting time, let me just start by highlighting what was uh, what you guys expected from us, and also you're going. I will give you a chance to uh, to react on that. <clears throat> so we are uh, in this program. Uh, we were supposed to uh, learn culture in creative computing, and I will just speak about that later. Then you also supposed to have a uh, eight ten modules, which included when green flag is clicked, parallelism, key press loops, broadcast, color sensing. Scratch magic, random operators, ask and answer variables and lists. So then we were supposed to also carry on with the website development, introduction to HTML, CSS, basic web development. And uh, so because of time, we were not uh, able to cover uh, all these 10 modules here. But what we covered already is uh, a it's enough for us to move uh, to the next to the next level. And uh, if we the others the other modules that you didn't cover, we shall send you. And then we are going to like 
record uh, uh, videos uh, which are explaining those concepts, short videos of like five minutes or 10 minutes. And then you will be able to, uh, they will guide you how to go, uh, how to go. And uh, just this weekend, we are going to have a, sorry, uh, we're going to have a, for those, we didn't have culture in creative computing because we wanted to have it uh, in, uh, as a bigger, uh, as a bigger event. And uh, we are going to have uh, the culture, culture in creative computing workshop at, uh, for those of you who will manage to come physically, it's going to be at you, at the National Theatre. And if you're not able to come uh, physically, then you shall also send you the Zoom link to have that, uh, that course done because we, we wanted that, uh, we wanted to have it only uh, only remotely, but uh, due to the demand from uh, the public and also the, we have uh, other uh, the people who are funding that program uh, requested that we have it uh, physically to better express, uh, the, for the, to allow the kids to express themselves freely. So uh, we shall be communicating uh, the dates uh, when that uh, will happen, but it's going to be happening in November in the first, the second week of November, in the second week of November, and it will happen for two weeks. And not, not every day, but we shall be communicating the days according. We shall be, since we have uh, many people participating, everyone is going to be uh, assigned to two days. And uh, we want to ensure that we have very few kids. But if you are joining online, then you will be given the access to attend all the events. But if you want to come physically, then we shall have to assign, uh, assign a specific dates for you to, to come and join us there. Then, uh, and then what else didn't we uh, do? Yeah, so those are the things that we were supposed to cover. And you are supposed to also become champions in Scratch. Uh, by champions in Scratch, we mean uh, improving on your self-learning. We, try, we tried in the beginning to give you some skills of how to play around with the, uh, with the, with the blocks of code available and twist them to come up with some uh, crazy stuff in Scratch, and we also tried out to draw, to make our own animations. Make I expect to see uh, during these presentations, you guys coming up with real animations which can work like humans, because now you have seen even on the Scratch Studios, people have been coming up with uh, such amazing, uh, uh, amazing games, such amazing animations where people are really moving, animals are real talking. Just maybe to give you an inspiration, uh, I'll just share one of the one of the projects that uh, uh, that I that I saw, which really uh, made me feel like you guys are uh, are doing an amazing amazing work. So uh, let me just share my screen. But we also admit that uh, you, you guys have uh, have really uh, put in your efforts and you put in your resources every day, uh, joining us. And uh, it's, uh, you, despite the uh, the expenses involved in uh, purchasing the the data, and uh, you also keep our foundation moving because if we don't have people to train then the foundation is going to die. So we also acknowledge and uh, thank your parents for, uh, for supporting you. And we shall do our best to, uh, to see that everyone who is attached to the, you know, to the foundation uh, has, uh, uh, has some uh, significant impact to the community. So uh, I saw someone coming up with uh, such uh, brilliant uh, drawings here yeah. and then uh, they were making so this is just one of them this is just uh, one of the things that you can if you can come up with the moving backdrops you come up with your own sprites even when you have uh, downloaded them and then try to remix them you can really make uh, those animated uh, animated uh, 2d or maybe even 3d designs using scratch uh, before you go to the launch stage where we, I think you, you will be introduced to my, is it uh, 
Minecraft for developing uh, 3D, 3D games. But even with Scratch, you see people can really come up with such a, such an, I mean, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't have imagined that I can do this, but then if a child, if children are building this, then why can't you? Now, the other thing I wanted to share uh, before uh, the end, we are going to share with you some documents which you are, you're supposed to have presentations, but we are supposed to guide you how to come up with, the, with those presentations for you to uh, see yourself to the, uh, to the launch stage. But, uh, and uh, what I'm going to do right now is, uh, let me just share. Let me just share something here before I take your questions. So under ideation, we looked at, uh, so uh, uh, when we, we started, let me see. We also looked at user personas, which we didn't include in here. And we also you looked at how to use Muro. And we also looked at, uh, let me see. So what we are left with is uh, looking at more design, the design thinking steps, which we are going to send you a video. And also uh, looking at how to develop the problem statement and the, and the canvas, business canvas, which we are also going to share with you tomorrow. So let me just uh, stop this. And share this. So as my screen is still loading, uh, I want to get some questions from uh, questions from you if you have any question and uh, also if you have any feedback then uh, we shall be happy to respond so this is also now uh, before we get to that we are going to share with you this document and uh, this is the last uh, I think document that you're going to uh, this is the last assignment that you're going to be having uh, for you to go if you also get it right, then uh, it's going to be uh, the best, uh, you will have completed the Ignite, the Ignite stage. So this is the problem statement uh, canvas, which uh, we have been telling you from day one uh, that uh, when you are starting your presentation, you talk about the problem that your innovation is, uh, is addressing. But then we want now, we are going to share with you a video which uh, helps you to understand the, uh, and also uh, come up with this canvas, which in this canvas, you're going to be able to uh, tell people when, the project, when that problem in your next presentation, which may happen on Sunday, uh, we expect you to, if, even if it's a scratch project, even if you have developed your innovation using a website, yeah, I expect everyone to have a website and a scratch project or even a robotics project, because now we have given you, taught you websites because we want you to uh, have your work on the web. We are, we are going to teach you in the near future in the launch how to put it online such that everyone can see it, which is also very, very easy. But then we expect you to now represent your project on the on your web on your web pages. And uh, here, the first block here has when does the problem uh, occur? And this one has what is the root uh, cause of the problem? And all these things are explained. Uh, uh, some of them are explained down here. Then we have uh, what does uh, what do customers do to fix the problem currently without your solution? If you're saying that you're building an education system to help children, uh, to learn even before and after COVID-19. How are they learning right now without uh, your solution? So this is what we put here. These are like the alternatives. And 
uh, customers who has the problem who has the problem most often so these are the people who are really feeling the pain who really badly need your solution you can include them if they are nursery students if they are primary six students or you can just now be more open and more straight to the point on particular uh, particularly pointing out to those users then emotional impact uh, most of these we shall just send you a recorded video to uh, but emotional impact is and uh, quantifi quantifiable impact are somehow uh, not so direct. That's why we included their explanations here. Uh, now, for example, here, how does the customer feel? So uh, what does this problem which is they are facing, how does it uh, uh, affect their feelings, affect their daily life? And uh, also, how do they, are they angry? Are they happy so this is how uh, how the uh, how it's directly linked to the personal's in, uh, interest in your solution when someone has a director issue or they are unhappy and then they see it, they see the opportunity of uh, maybe changing their lives through your solution this is how you can uh, express it here what's the uh, measurable impact you can also include it here you will read here and then you'll be able to, if you, it's not clear, the video is going to make it clear and you can also always ask questions. We shall create a WhatsApp group and maybe hang out specifically for the Ignite, uh, for the Ignite fellows and, uh, and also give you some that guidance until you do your presentations on Sunday. I hope the time is enough. If it's not enough, then you can request we push your we push forward your presentations because we do feel like uh, having only two days is also uh, not enough. So if 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 you if all of if all of you agree that we push it maybe by two days, then we can have it maybe on Wednesday next week. Then alternative shortcomings. What are the disadvantages of the alternate uh, alternatives? What are the competitors? Are the competitors? What are what makes you better than them? What are their disadvantages? This is what we shall. So everyone, every Ignite fellow who is presenting should always must have this uh, problem statement canvas while talking about the problem. So on your problem slide, you will be required to draw such a, a canvas. Then you talk about, uh, uh, briefly talk about this key. Uh, we want you guys to be different from the Explorer, Explorer participants to also motivate them to work hard for the Ignite for the Ignite stage. So now having said that, the, the rest, uh, we shall also look at, uh, we, we have a, uh, I think for the design, design thinking challenge, you will do it after, after your presentations because it's a little bit uh, long, but we shall also share it with you and also share with you the video. Those of you who have seen the video, it's on YouTube already. And uh, okay, so this is also what you're supposed to use in your presentation. So let me just share share it, the problem statement. Just a moment. We are going to share with you these documents by tomorrow morning. So when you come to your, you are supposed to have a problem statement, the way you are just, uh, some of you by the way are already having good problem statements when I was watching your presentations last month uh, uh, to help you polish up. So the problem statement here, you create a problem statement for your identified challenges or a problem statement is one sentence that answers these questions here. What is your design? Who will, or who will use or experience your design? These are now the users. And uh, here when they say, what's your design? What is your innovation? And then uh, who will use your, your design and that's uh, who are your users then where will your design be used is it uh, only going to be used in schools in hospitals in the whole country in transport 
uh, or you have to be specific and clear who exactly uses your product or your innovation. Then what is your design is outcome? After someone has used your, your project or maybe your innovation, what is that immediate or maybe short term uh, impact or long term? You have to define that this is my short term impact, this is my uh, long term impact uh, and the users can get this when they use my, my product. That's going to encourage people to support your, your innovation. Write your one sentence problem. You will have to write your one sentence problem here. But these are just the examples that we have shared with you in this document. Pro <laughs> the first one here says uh, the problem, uh, the problem statement uh, may be this person said what product or service might the coffee corner design might the coffee corner design for citizens of their town to prepare for a flood. That's how you, uh, you, or you can say, how might we, you see like, I like this, how, how might we questions. And these are, these are a little bit professional. And if you, are, if you try to, to use them, uh, people are going to really know that you, you know what you're doing. Here, in this case, someone is just saying, how might technology emergency, how might technology emergency response system be designed to help ensure residents of the community town uh, are prepared to make it mitigate against the emergency flood and inform the, so how might we help uh, people in Nansana to, uh, uh, to have constant electricity and be able to carry on their businesses without challenges? That's how you, you look at a pro, that's how you express the problem. You just don't say, the problem, people are not going to schools. The problem, the schools have been closed, closure of schools, that's a little bit amateur. And uh, at your stage, now we expect you to say, if people are not in school because schools are closed, you can, be, you can say, how might we help children in Uganda to have access to educational resources, even when schools are closed? How might we? It shows first of all that uh, you are so you are I, you, your problem opens up to more ideas or, or more opportunities, and it also shows that you're not working alone. So it shows if you say how might we, you are showing people that you're working with a team. We have also another way here, like uh, someone can just say, how will an emergency response team help emergency responders organize community efforts after an emergency? How will, how might? Then another one here, what information or service could Coffee Corner provide to help the citizens be prepared for a flood? This is how we, when we ask you to uh, have a, a slide for problem, uh, for, for, for your problem, uh, when you're mentioning uh, in your presentation, this is how we expect you to bring out your problem statement and also have the canvas as we shared with you already. We are going to share with you these two documents and uh, we expect you to, sub to have them filled at least by the end of uh, this week as you prepare maybe whichever innovation you're working on. I know we cannot do much to maybe uh, uh, guide you on which, which innovations are so impactful. <laughs> But when you do your submission, we shall, uh, what we shall do is we shall be able to advise you how to improve it before you do the, the presentations uh, on, I think it will be on Wednesday next week. So let me take, uh, let me take some questions from you. If you have a question, you just uh, raise up your hand. And, uh, and then if you have anything to say, if you have feedback, uh, if you want to help us uh, uh, maybe understand how best we can uh, deliver, especially to be particular with the uh, Ignite, but if you also have uh, some feedback for the Explorer stage, then we shall, uh, I'll be happy to share it with the team. Okay, so if uh, you can, otherwise, if you if you can't uh, uh, raise up your hand, you can also just leave uh, leave your comments or maybe your questions in the chat, and I'll be I'll be happy to to answer to answer some of them. 
Now, uh, we get tomorrow. I don't know whether some of you are able to uh, to continue developing uh, using Muro. Uh, we we introduced to you Muro, and we expected you, uh, most of you, to uh, to use it. And uh, we were supposed to introduce to you another platform. Let me see. If Muro is difficult for you, I want to know and that from you today, such that we can give you another software which can work the same as Muro, <laughs> but it's a little bit uh, not advanced. Sorry, I forgot this first one, but... Uh... Let me share another one. All right, but anyway, even I'm not able to sign in because I forgot my first one, but uh, I can still take questions because most of you have been, uh, have been using it already. So let me... Get back to this. So let me see. Um, someone here says uh, it's very difficult for me. It'd be particular. You you mean Moro? At least I forgot the password. For my Google uh, account. Okay. Uh, some people don't use uh, Moro. Okay. Let me see. Okay, we shall send you a link to another, another, another software which you can use to develop your personas. But uh, also the PowerPoint that we sent you that had uh, personas, buyer personas can be you can just draft your your uh, your personas in there in those PowerPoints and uh, then have every slide. You should have a slide for user persona when you. You are going to send you an email which which shows the presentations which are supposed to be made uh, by Ignite Fellows, and uh, you have you must have a slide which has the user persona. So we shall we shall either send you a software or you can do it just using uh, uh, using uh, your PowerPoint that we those PowerPoint guides that we sent you about uh, buyer persona. So if there are no Questions, let me see what was next on my slides. Okay, yeah, it is. <laughs> So now if there are, there are no questions, uh, we are going to, uh, to wish you good luck and uh, shall be sharing with you the details about your presentations tomorrow. And also we shall create a WhatsApp group and a Google Handout group for you, for you guys to see. We shall be among us the support even when you don't go to the launch. Uh, if we have bigger competitions which uh, require people who are a little bit advanced, we shall always, uh, you will always uh, be the people who we recommend uh, to do uh, those, uh, those presentations on behalf of the, of the foundation. And uh, so uh, Trami says, teacher, are we going to use Scratch or PyCharm? 
So you use both, you can use both. We want you to use both or one of them that uh, if you already know how to build a website, then you build both a website and uh, you can build a website for your project. And even have, we showed you how to, how to put your project on your, on your website. So even while you're presenting, you, you can just present using the website. You don't have to present using Scratch. You just, uh, and that even shows people that for you are a little bit ahead. When you're screen, you share, sharing the screen, you just share your, your website. And then when you're demoing your project, you demo it on, the, on, your, on your website as well. Uh, someone is saying I invited to compete. Yes, uh, if you're all invited to compete. First of all, we have the competition of the young innovator of the of the month of this month happening, and uh, there are also other competitions that are going that are going on that are happening. That we are going. We have Scratch Coding Heroes by the which is coming, and for it, it has a amazing amazing gifts for, for the winners. Uh, we shall be sharing uh, the gifts that you should be. So you should be, it's going to be the Scratch Coding Heroes Championship is going to be open to everyone. And uh, even participants who are not in Uganda are going to, to, be, uh, to be taking part. And we encourage all of you to, uh, to, uh, to take part. So I, uh, we also want to share, uh, maybe let me see. All right, I think that's it. So let me just take the last questions then we can, we can meet again. We may call you for another meeting if we deem it necessary. Uh, so, so I see. Uh, T is saying I'm going to work with Einstein. Yeah, you get in touch. If you want to work as a team, by the way, we encourage people who want to work. And we, it's so unfortunate that uh, we weren't able, due to the, uh, we weren't able to get put in teams because of uh, our, because uh, most, of, most of you are, uh, wanted to work with your who are already working with your your siblings at home and uh, the this curriculum didn't really uh, require someone to work as a team but that's what we wanted to foster but we do hope that in the next ignite we the new curriculum which we are going to roll out is going to foster teamwork and uh, collaboration and even for the cultural for the cultural course that you're going to take for scratch it also requires uh, team teamwork and collaboration so let me see another question. Uh, Gift says, which I joined late, so I don't know what you said, but are we supposed to make a scratch project by a personal website? Yeah, so you're supposed to have one project, but uh, you, on your, pre the buyer person and uh, this other, uh, other canvases, problem canvas, the uh, business canvas, you just include it on, on slides and then, uh, website you can display your scratch project if you built a scratch project i don't know whether some of you have already learned robotics whatever you do even if it's robotics even if it's design labs uh, whichever project you, that you can carry out and have a prototype for it you can represent it on your website if you have questions about if you still don't remember you can go through the recorded videos if you still want uh, more skills of uh, website you can send me an email or send me a WhatsApp and uh, I, if you have maybe something you want to represent on your website, but you don't know how, I can, I can be able to offer you that support. So any other question? And also we, you, you guys, uh, we also request you to share with your friends about uh, the programs for the cohort, the next cohort that is, uh, you see, when, we, when people share this, uh, uh, this workshop with you, and that's why we are working with you. So if you also give a chance to those of your friends who didn't get the chance to train with you, they can join our cohort six. Cohort six is also is starting uh, this coming month. It's starting on, uh, on 12th. 
November to 27th November, and it happens every Saturday and Sunday from 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. So we shared this in the group. And also you can check out, uh, we have programs already. Some of the programs that we are going to offer this month have been shared already on our newsletter. If you, if you let me just share a link. But we are going to have uh, more programs added on and uh, more programs which are even free and some of them are paid for such that we have uh, we continue we don't want uh, to get uh, to uh, not to keep you uh, involved uh, even when you don't uh, but those who will make it to the launch it's going to be very very busy you will not need to engage in another in another activity uh, because there are a lot of uh, the curriculum is really the time is small, but what you have to cover is, is a lot. So these are other programs uh, that we shall carry on uh, in, the, in the next month. But uh, we, we really put our emphasis on this because uh, we want at least every child in Uganda to, to know how to, to use Scratch. So the more kids that we have, the more uh, impact and the more innovators we shall have. And then, so let me, I see someone's hand is up. Teacher, you said that you're gonna share the program for space science. Yeah, so space science, we, the implementing partner uh, told us uh, that they were, was supposed to start it this month, but then uh, they faced challenges with their with their software, and uh, the software that you're going to use uh, to uh, to do maybe uh, the classes. So they are still working on the software. Now we believe that in November they are we are going to have to share that uh, that course. We couldn't share it because uh, we we don't know how to how to carry on with it and. Uh, we had to wait for, for the partners to make it available for us. Any other question? So- uh, Tisha, when are the competitions for launch? The competitions are, and when is the next week? So we, I can work with Einstein. Yeah, yeah, you can work with as long as he's a uh, part of Ignite. Is he still part of Ignite? Yeah, yeah. Was well, some everyone who passed Explorer is uh, is automatically in uh, in Ignite. Okay, so I'll be waiting to see. You can start now working on your innovations uh, right from today. Whatever you feel like you want to. Uh, to, you want to help the, the community out there, whatever problem that you see that you can really use whatever skill that you've acquired so far to solve, please do go ahead. And if you need advice with how to implement, even though, you, uh, you, even though you're stuck, you can always let us know how we can, how we can help your team. And uh, for those of you who can get your teammates, you can uh, get them even if it's your, uh, your sibling, even if it's your friend in your school, just uh, uh, you're free to work with them, to work with anyone, as long as the Ignite person is the one who is leading that team. Okay, so if there are no more questions, I want to wish you a good night and we shall uh, send you the, details for the competition or maybe for the presentations tomorrow together with the other documents and other modules that you you are supposed to go to go through before before the end of your program have a good night uh, before we go i think teacher, someone saying gift uh, teacher are you going to send us an email giving us more information like this Yes, we are going to send you information, gift. Just, uh, just be on the alert. Thank you very much for that. Okay, good night. <laughs>